up. So, if you have played with AI, you have probably heard of rules, right? Cursor rules, custom GPTs, perplexity threads, and all that kind of stuff. Going down. Damn right, going down. So today, I want to talk about our rules, Bezzy rules, what they're good for, how I use them, and how they can improve your process as a game developer and as a creator. But this is the first kind of video we have done for Bezzy and AI. So if you enjoy it, let us know with a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and let's rock and roll. Now, before we get into the benefits of creating rules for AI, it's important to understand their purpose and limitations. Now, this may sound obvious to some, but to others, AI rules may be a little bit more abstract. So, in short, rules are user-defined instructions and constraints that guide how an AI behaves. And that's really it. Sounds simple, right? Now, it's obviously more complicated than that. I mean, what constitutes an AI's behavior? Is it what an AI says or how it says it? Are they one and the same? And this is where most people get tripped up. They confuse rules with context, and when that happens, they often have false expectations and get frustrated. So let's simplify the difference to this. Rules set the boundaries of how AI responds, things like tone, format, and style, while context is the information that AI uses to decide what to say. Facts, examples, past chats, websites, all of that. And usually context drives the content, but rules can still shape how that content gets used and delivered. Yeah, I think that's accurate. Now, let's look at some examples of rules to show their true potential. And to start, let's tackle voice and tone. One powerful feature of LOMs is their ability to communicate in a style that's unique to its user and to their project. So what does that look like exactly? I really appreciate it when my coworkers or my AI refrain from glazing. Personally, when AI does it, it adds years to a task and cuts down on my creative deliverables and train of thought. So let's fix that. As you see here, I have specifically added a rule, never compliment me, never use filler words like perfect or great, don't glaze me, be direct. Next, I wanted my LM to be blunt, somewhat playful and concise, and I said exactly that. I put that last one in all caps because it puts a little bit more weight on it, and I really want to avoid too much wordiness and fluff. Here is an example of two responses, one with tonal rules and the other without. Cool, right? Now, a little goes a long way, and it's important to be careful in how you use it because without fine tuning, it can begin renaming and commenting files with absolute nonsense. If used strategically, it can be super powerful. Let's explore a rule that has completely transformed how I've worked with AI. Like many people playing with AI, I have often been frustrated by over eager LLMs giving me poor responses, or I have struggled to craft prompts that would deliver consistent results. And while I could blame AI products for not mind reading, it is often a two-way street. And in many ways, how we collaborate with AIs is similar to how we talk with our peers. So one rule that has completely transformed my process is to have AI only ask me two to four short follow-up questions. And honestly, this has been transformative to my creative process. Why? Well, first and foremost, having AI inquire deeper questions expands the context on what to deliver, meaning better results. Second, as AI asks me more questions, it often fills in the missing pieces I may have forgotten or overlooked. And third, it helps me iterate on my ideas earlier so I don't have to backtrack later. And I'm not gonna lie, while follow-up questions often adds a few more prompts to the thread, the quality of my work has increased by 10 times. And in the long run, it has saved me many, many, many hours. Now these rules are unique to me and everyone's different, obviously. But the main point here is that rules give you the power to reach directly into your system prompt and shape how it responds to you in real time. And to me, that is super sick. Now, if you find this kind of video helpful, let us know with the comments down below, like subscribe and check out our next video up here. It should be out soonish. Anyway, until next time, take care, plus minus, peace.